Hi, kid, and welcome to the story that is celebrating Dad. Oh, I heard that there's an evil stepfather in the story. Uh, Maleficent? Yes. No, th there's no evil stepdad in this story. What? <laughs> you are so naive. Hey, uh, no, no, this is, he's a great stepfather. <laughs> Don't you know that great stepparents do not exist? Yes, they do. Uh, uh, storyteller, don't you supposedly watch all the Disney movies? Yes. Well then, I present Exhibit A. Oh. Right there. You see, Cinderella. She's the original princess. And what happened to her? I don't remember exactly. Oh, I'll remind you. Her father died, so then she ended up with an evil stepmother who made her do all the housework. And let me tell you something. That place was really dirty. Okay, okay, so Cinderella had it bad, but that's just one case of I present exhibit number two. Could you fix her, please? Oh, okay. <clears throat> exhibit number two. That is the evil stepmother from, yes, Snow White. And I do think you are the fairest of them all. But what happens when she starts to get a little competition and she just wants to eliminate the competition in the beauty department? Suddenly she's evil and bad, right? Okay, okay, so you gave me two excellent examples, but in this case, you're just, you're wrong. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna stick around and watch and see the surprise on your face when he turns out to be incredibly evil and tries to have his stepdaughter banished into a forest by little bats or something. <laughs> well, gosh, I, I, I hope she's wrong. I, hmm. I mean, because that would not make, that would not make dad special at all. But you know what? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Now, one day, mom and Kate were playing in the garden. Kate, with many questions, said, Mom, I beg your pardon, but what makes my dad special? She asked with a stare. Well, sit down and I will tell you. Mom pulled out a chair. Mom, <sighs> Took a deep breath. Oh boy, what is she gonna say? She sat next to Kate. I'll tell you the story of why your dad is so great. Oh, okay, so far so good. I mean, she's happy and, and it's a sunny day and it doesn't look like they're in a dungeon, so it's all good. He used to change your diaper when you were so small. He followed you around the house when you began to crawl. He fed you in your high chair and always wiped your nose and kept your hands nice and clean. He even washed your toes. And that whole nose wiping business, that's intense. Babies are constantly having snotty nose issues and somebody's gotta clean it. He held your hand tightly when you began to walk, listening to your mumbling when you started to talk. He watched you at nursery school on your very first day. You were nervous and quite shy. You asked him, please do stay. He watched you ride a bike for the very first time. Whee! Waited below to catch you when you wanted to climb. He taught you how to cook and you both made dinner. He never let you feel sad you were always his winner. He cleaned you up and brushed you off whenever you fell down. Dried your tears and cheered you up. Took away your frown. I mean, because you've probably had a spill or two, haven't you? No, it's okay. It happens to all of us. Those little legs are still you know, a little trippy and sometimes you get a little you know, weak or you're just clumsy a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. But there he is to make you feel better. He sat with other parents and watched while you sing at school. He made sure you didn't swallow too much water at the swimming pool. He showed you how to tie your laces when you didn't know. He took you sledding on the hills outside in the snow with Frosty the snowman watching on too. Mom said, I picked a special dad just for me and you. 
I met him when you were a baby. Our love blossomed and grew. You sat next to us at church when we got married. You wore a beautiful dress with the flowers that you carried. So see, she was already around with her mom when her stepdad came into the picture and ended up falling in love with both of them. I hope you understand why your dad's a special man. He loves you to the moon and back. He's your biggest fan. Dad said, I'm so proud that you call me dad, dear little Kate. Our family is wonderful and amazingly great. I am very lucky and so happy that we are a fabulous family. You, your mom, and me. And look at that. Number one best dad. So see, sometimes our dads are the ones who made us with our moms and sometimes they're the fella who's doing all the work and the wonderful stuff that being a dad is all about, caring for us and loving us and blah 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 blah. Where's the part where he sends her into a dungeon? Not in the book. Where's the part where he must send her off maybe into the forest with some minions uh, never to be seen or heard from again? That's also not in the book. I am sure that there is this part where he gives her maybe a poison apple. No. A poison French toast. No. Bats too. No. Oh, these books are infuriating. You don't know the rules. Step parents are evil, evil, evil. Oh, I love that word. Evil. <laughs> but you see, sometimes they're pretty awesome. And the other stuff, well, it's just dramatic and fun make-believe. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, where we think you are very special.